is Cathy Arabia. Thank you very much indeed. In Abu Dhabi, in the UAE, would it be fair to say that the conversations that are had in here are sort of microcosm of, 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 of the way that people feel about what's going on in the region? Yeah, it's very interesting. When you, you think about the Arab world, you often think of these abstract problems, Iran, Egypt, Syria today, the peace process, all of these different facets. And actually, those things, when you live here, they're very real. The conversations happening behind us and upstairs and all around the city are going to be about Iran, people with families, businesses in Iran, about Egypt, people with families there, about Syria, about the coming conflict. All of these things are very real for the people in Abu Dhabi. Let's talk about the Syria situation. The US and its allies are said at least to be considering military action now against sites at least, if not the regime in Syria. I want to talk to you about the regional players and their motivation, their involvement uh, and where things go from here. Let's start with Saudi. Well, Saudi is a very interesting case because uh, Saudi does seem to be leading this behind the scenes and actually even uh, front of house, mm -hmm. King Abdullah making a speech uh, last week which was very forceful in a way that it hasn't been previously mm -hmm. uh, in favour of what's happening Are in the Egypt. US being run by Saudi in this whole sort of theatre of war. I think the, 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 the way to frame it is to say that the US does not want to lead from the front as it did previously in Iraq and in Afghanistan. I think it wants to make sure that the region is as involved as possible. So I think that is the way to frame it. It is interesting though that in this specific case in Syria you find the Turks and the Saudis who in Egypt are on opposite sides of the fence, you find them on the exact same side wanting intervention. Why is that? I think it's because they both recognize that Syria is a central part of what happens over the next few years in the Middle East. If Syria is engulfed in a civil war, as Lebanon was for 15 years, the whole region will suffer. The Saudis know that. They know that they will be in the forefront of it. And the Turks, especially sharing a very long border with Syria, they will be in the forefront. I mean, so many of the wars of the Middle East have been played out across Lebanese territory. And naturally, for a small country with a fragile mix of ethnicities, they are very concerned. Already, as we've spoken about in the past, the the, the Syrian conflict is one theatre in Lebanon now. Hezbollah are fighting openly against uh, on the side of Assad. They are concerned. And I think everybody appreciates that having only quite recently come out from the civil war and come out from a Syrian occupation of their country, they do want to have the time and the space to be able to formulate a peaceful society. They don't look like they'll get that choice if people go into Syria. Many people have seen the Syria situation through the prism of the international community, the US and its European allies, but it's not new, is it, that, that, that people are now looking at this situation through the prism of the regional powers? No, not at all. I mean, the, the stakeholders, uh, the Turks, the, the UAE, the Saudis have been saying for two years now that this conflict needs to end, that Assad has lost, lost legitimacy and he needs to be removed. They've been saying it for two years. What's new right. is that the West now seems to be interested in doing something. Why do you think that is? I think it's the, it's the chemical weapons. Um, hmm. It is that there is a historic line uh, drawn in the West hmm. over the use of chemical weapons stretching back hmm. 50, 60 years to the Second World War. And I think that once it has been established that the Assad regime used chemical weapons on civilians, I think the West feels that it, is, it has to do something, it has to send a very strong message.